On B27, we'll be subtracting fractions using borrowing. First, I notice that I cannot subtract 5 from 2, so I have to borrow from the 4. Borrowing 1 from the 4 gives me a 3. Here's the 1 that was borrowed next to the 2 sevenths, minus 1 and 5 sevenths. Next, I want to take the 1 that I borrowed and multiply it by 7 and add 2. So, let's bring down the 3. So, 7 times 1 is 7, plus 3 more, sorry, plus 2 more makes 9. So, this will be 9 and then over 7, minus my 1 and 5 sevenths. So, now when I subtract 5 from 9, it will work. So, I just want to point that out or 5 from 2 wouldn't work. All right, let's finish. 1 from 3 leaves 2, and 5 from 9 leaves 4, all over the common denominator of 7. On the next problem, we cannot subtract 2 from 1, so we'll need to borrow from the 4. When we borrow from the 4, it becomes a 3. The 1 that we borrowed goes next to the 1 fifth. 2 and 2 fifths. So I'm going to multiply by this 1 and add to the numerator. So the 3 comes down. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 more is 6 over 5 minus my 2 and 2 fifths. Now I can subtract. 2 from 3 leaves 1. 2 from 6 leaves 4, and that will all be over 5. Next, we cannot subtract 2 from a 1, so we're going to have to borrow from the 6. 6 now becomes a 5, and the 1 that we borrow goes next to the 1 third, minus the 3 and 2 thirds. So now I'm going to turn this 1 and 1 third into a mixed number, I'm oh, sorry, improper fraction, by using multiplication and adding. The 5 comes down. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 more is 4. So this is 4 thirds minus 3 and 2 thirds. Now we can subtract. 3 from the 5 leaves 2, and 2 from 4 leaves 2. And that's all over 3. 